that your phone might be the reason you are depressed? Well, today I want to convince you to stop spending so much time on social media and to look at how it affects your mental health, your relationships, deception, and your overall self-image. We all use social media every single day, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, there's so many social media outlets now. And first, I'm going to talk to you about how it affects you mentally. At Fudan University, they did a study during the COVID-19 pandemic. In the 3,959 uh, participants, 82% uh, of them showed higher levels of anxiety and depression than those who weren't frequently exposed. The study also showed that mental health problems are positively associated with frequent social media exposure. According to the International Journal of Mental Health and Addiction, individuals with a history of childhood emotional maltreatment also um, are exposed to excessive social media use and in turn they also have higher levels of social anxiety and depression as well. Of course, social media has made it very easy for us to stay connected with one another. We can easily talk to our friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend with just as easy as a text. However, is it possible that we can be too connected to each other? Social media has had a detrimental effect on our relationships and overall how we communicate with one another. We have less face-to-face -face interaction and we have we solely depend on our phones to do the talking for us. Social media has made it harder for us to be alone. We constantly have to text somebody back. We constantly expect people to talk to us 24-7. So I feel like it makes us um, very hard for us to be independent. We depend on our phones and not only the other person as well. According to Spencer Christensen, at the um, a professor at Brigham Young University, there's this new term now. It's called PH. U-B-B-I-N-G, which is fubbing, and this term is defined as basically two people are in a social setting or more, and they are sitting there, and both of them are on their phones like this, and they're not paying attention to one another, and sadly, that term is becoming now more socially acceptable, which in turn, I feel like will not only affect them communication skills, but also physical contact, physical contact and affection with that other person. Another negative side effect of social media is deception. Spencer Christensen says that social media expresses, I'm sorry, social media users express certain elements of themselves um, that they think are probably better qualities or better elements of themselves that they only want others to see. They build a fake identity of themselves. For example, online dating. Let's say you match with somebody on Tinder and you meet them in person and they're nothing like what they say online. People tend to believe everything they see, making it hard to know what is the truth or what is inaccurate. According to Media Lab, professors at MIT, falsehoods are 70% more likely to be retweeted than the truth. And lastly, I'm gonna talk about probably one of the most important effects um, that social media has on our self-image. Um, I feel like apps such as Instagram, TikTok, they give these girls very unrealistic standards and ideals of what they should actually actually look like. And in turn, um, people start to think that their likes or their views are a reflection of their own self-value. And according to the International Journal of Mental Health and Addiction, individuals who struggle with psychological stress tend to have low self-esteem in turn they also have low self body image as well. And it's just this ongoing loop. You know, if you have excessive social media exposure, then you tend to have um, higher levels of stress and overall you have low self body image. So it's kind of just this ongoing loop. According to Raya Makosha in the Journal of Psycho Psychosocial Research, she says, editing pictures of oneself has also been proven to be negatively associated with your body image and self discrepancy as well. So today I try to convince you to stop spending so much time on social media. We talked about how it affects your mental health, your relationships, deception, and your overall self-image. I'll finally leave you guys with this quote. It says, by Bill Murray, it says that social media is training us to compare our lives instead of appreciate everything we are. No wonder why everyone is always depressed.